What's up everybody, Kyle here from Driving and Vibing and you're watching Road Gear Reviews. Today we're talking about one of our favorite pieces of outdoor RV gear and that is this outdoor mat, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do put out weekly reviews for the best road gear that we come across. And today, like I said earlier, we are talking about this RV mat. Now, RV mats are pretty generic. We don't even know the brand of this one. So more than talking about a certain brand of an RV mat today, we are gonna be talking about the polypropylene woven mats. Now these are the very standard mats that you can find on Amazon, at Walmart, at Camping World. They're very common in the RV community, but we really want to talk about some of the benefits we found in this one and why it's really changed the game because for the first year of being on the road, we had no outdoor RV mat at all. So first off, like I said earlier, it's made of polypropylene, which is like this plastic resin and it's woven and the mat is reversible. Almost every mat that we found on the internet that is made of this woven polypropylene is reversible. So right here behind me, you can see the kind of yellowish interior with that green exterior rim. You can reverse that to the opposite side to get the exact opposite design. Now ours is a pretty standard design, but they make exquisite designs online or just a basic color really for whatever suit your style or whatever will go well with your rig. Now the material is UV stabilized which means it's not going to wear down as quickly as some other fabrics or products will to the sun's rays. So we've been using this one consistently for over a year now uh, and we full time so it's almost always out and we have seen very little degradation in the quality of the material. And even our dog plays on it, we walk on it regularly, wipe our feet off on it, and it doesn't even come unwoven that easily. There are just a few spots after over a year where you can see it come unwoven, but the good thing is, even in those spots, it doesn't unwind throughout the whole material. It stays very localized to that one spot where any type of like disconnected woven fabric has happened. Our mat behind us is nine by 12 and a half. This is a pretty standard large size for these mats. You can get them in multiple sizes, much smaller than this, and possibly even a few larger than this. But for what we've seen in the RV community, this is the standard size, nine by 12, and it usually works well for most size rigs but if you have a huge class a or a really big um, fifth wheel you might want to see if you can get a bigger one to cover more surface area of your front living area one of the things i've been so impressed with with these polypropylene mats is that they fold up so easily after i get done telling you about some of these details i'll quickly show you how we fold this up because even though it's so large we fold it up and fit it into a corner of the back of our ford ranger which doesn't have a large bed but we can easily get it in there and pack it full with everything else we need to bring now, as far as attaching this to the ground, the version we have has fabric loops in every corner. This has to be one of the first things that really wore out over time. Two of the loops are still in working order. Some of the other loops we have just tied to make a knot around the spikes we put in. But the fabric loops are a pretty common feature in most of these RV mats. Now some of them have those like kind of riveted holes in the corners as well where you can put a spike through. I can't really speak for how those would hold up, but I imagine they would hold up a little bit better because whenever we get this mat really tight with these spikes in the ground, it'll wear and tear on those fabric loops. So that is the only downfall. But again, we've been using this for over a year and we pick it up and travel almost weekly. So it does see a lot of abuse and it has hold up well over time with all that. These are about 30 to 60 bucks online at Walmart, at Camping World. What we found, what really differentiates the price level is the intricacy of the design on the mat. So, you know, ours is pretty standard and it wasn't that expensive, but if you get a really nice Navajo print or a cool hip like camping design, that's where you're gonna start working into the $60 range. So let me change this camera position real quick and I'll show you how we fold it up and how easy it is because that was the game changer for us because we didn't know if we'd be able to have room for it or not, but when we found out how easy this thing folds up, it made it very convenient to take around with us. All right, so let's get to folding. All 
right guys, so there you have it. You can see that uh, it folds up pretty tight and even though it's kind of puffy right now the way it's sitting, once I lay it in the bed of the truck, I can really flatten it down. I set our Outland Living Fire Bowl on top of it to put that extra weight on it so it doesn't take up as much room but it's super easy to store. I'm gonna run over here, show you the spikes we use, and then we'll wrap up. So just one more sec. So these are the spikes we use. Ours are nothing fancy. They're homemade out of um, just large nails you can get at a hardware store. And then there's this plastic topper put on them so it will hold the mat down a little bit better. But uh, you know, they make spikes at Walmart that are made for these camping tents or mats, probably about a buck a piece. So whatever you got, it will should work to hold it down, whether it's just a makeshift one like like these nails or the camping spikes so guys thank you so much for watching today I'll put links to these mats um, a few options of them a few different styles of them in the comment section and in the description that way you can get a feel for what's available out there but thank you guys so much for, for watching remember every Wednesday we put out new gear reviews so hit that subscribe button check back next week and thank you again and we'll see y'all next time